Hi, it's Crafty Kitty here, and I'm filming this video for a second time because for some reason I managed to turn my um, camera upside down, so half the video was upside down. So, this is my second attempt, and hopefully nothing goes wrong and everything will work out fine. So, I am going to show you the stuff that I have purchased from the Dollar Tree Michaels and from various thrift stores. So the first things I bought from the Dollar Tree was this napkins. It's a possibility I might have bought those napkins before, but I don't know. These little dragonfly stickers. I love dragonflies. And these butterfly uh, napkins. I think they're just beautiful. I just love that butterfly so pretty um, foam brushes can never have too many of those I bought three little piggy banks as you can see right there a gold and two purples now those are definitely going to be part of a DIY challenge that I have video I have up right now which is to create a cake plate um, I will link that video below so that if you want to know what the challenge is about, you can see and watch for yourself. Alrighty. So the next thing we'll move on to is the items that I purchased from a thrift store. So just give me one moment. Okay. So I'm back. Um, here is some plates I bought. Um, now in my, one of my other thrift haul videos, I actually found other plates that match this. Uh, I can't remember if they're medium sized sandwich plates or if the, they are the teacup plates, but for this set, I managed to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the teacups plates, one, two, three, four of the sandwich plates. And I got, I actually have six of these and one little tumbler and I actually think it's nine teacup plates. Um, I can't show you the other ones because I had already started doing a DIY with it and I don't want to show them until I am completely finished. So that's something to look forward to. <laughs> um, one of the other things I bought from a secondhand store was, or from Valley Village, was I got all these balloons. Um, now I decorate for parties, so I make balloon columns and balloon arches. Um, I managed to get all these balloons. They were only a dollar ninety nine for for three and a half packs, and they usually sell for about a dollar fifty a pack, depending on where you buy them. So a dollar ninety nine for all those, pretty good. And the next thing I got, which I'm so pleased about, is this. Yes. Those are teeth imprints, and I have been looking for one of those for a long time so that I can use them at Halloween for um, special kind of gooey treats. Uh, I was going to purchase this off of Amazon, actually, and it was like $5.79 or something like that. But I managed to get this for $0.75, cents and I actually got a flower one, too, with it, which will be quite useful. I suppose I could use it to make chocolates. But these are headed for the dishwasher. Um, the other things that I have is there's a bunny. Now I went to Messina, New York uh, uh, yesterday on Saturday and I went to a couple of thrift stores and I found this bunny and he was three dollars. Now I think he's just beautiful. He's just totally gorgeous. Uh, I was going to spray paint him, but I don't think so because I just like the way he looks. He is adorable. So he's going to stay the color he is because that cute pink nose is adorable. Now at the thrift store back home, uh, what did I get? Oh, look at that. Oops. Sorry. That was my cord for power cord. I got, uh, okay. Just one minute. I'm going to move this bunny. Okay. There we go. Now, surprise, surprise, it's a cake plate. But we all know that I can't pass up a cake plate, so. 
here. Uh oh, you see my fingers. They got sort of colors on them. Uh, so it was four ninety five for this cake plate, and as you can see, it's nice and embossed underneath there. Uh, excuse the blue fingers, they were part of the DIY project uh, that I'm not sharing just yet. Next I got and everything is falling over. One minute and we're back. So if you see my Halloween Cheshire cat back there, he kept falling over and hitting everything. So you can see that this is a nice tray has a glass on it this will be ooh, sorry this will be part of a diy project now i got these little fish this is from my daughter's birthday party um she's having a spongebob party as i told you so that's gonna be part of the decorations i got this cute little cabbage leaf teapot And I got this black one, but the black one has no lid, which is perfectly fine because this is for a DIY, ugh, DIY project that I'm doing and I'm going to be videotaping and sending to, not videotaping, recording and sending to my sister so that she can decorate for her daughter's birthday party, which is going to be Alice in Wonderland tea party. So because I don't need the lid for that because... This is what I plan to do with the other teapot that I have. I'm going to make a nice statuary with this. Um, as you can see, this teapot from Valley Village was only $1.99. The one on the bottom was actually, I think, $1.99 as well. Yep, but once they realized that the lid was missing, I got it for $0.99. Cents. So, that is part of the stuff that I got so far. I'm just going to pause because I have to reach down and grab the rest. Okay, I'm back. So here is the material I found it from the Value Village. Now I had a 30% off coupon, so this only came to $3.50 rather than $4.99. Um, it's just enough material to make a really nice cushion. And I think this looks like a really nice summery print. So I will make a cushion with that. This is a nice sort of pinky red striped. Now the thing about this, it cost me $1.99. And there's a lot more material than than the one that cost me three fifty because I also got the thirty percent off of that one, so that was a pretty awesome deal. Um, I also got these eggs for a dollar ninety nine. Now this one broke, and there's another one that broke. Now they're kind of a plasticky thing, and some have beads on them, some have glitter. Some are a little fuzzy, uh, but all of these eggs are really nice. And like I said, they only cost me $1.99. Plus, I got the 30% off of that as well. So, the other things I got were these flowers I got from another thrift store. And I'm going to be using those for my niece's birthday party, which is a woodland theme. So I got all those. I'm going to pause and pull up the rest of it. Okay, so I got all these greenery. It says $2 from the Dollarama, but that was, of course, not the price I paid. It was from the Value Village, and I got all of these together for $1.99. And then in Value Village, I also got this tablecloth. It's a winter tablecloth. Everyday Essentials. It's brand new for $1.99. The original price was $5. So, I mean, that was a really good deal. And then I got the cutest little dress for my puppy. And she's going to look adorable in it. Yes, I dress my dachshunds up. They don't care for it much, but they'll put up with it for a while. One other thing that I, re I bought was this really nice rustic looking dome. It was $1.99 from the Salvation Army. And as you can see, it has little flowers on it. It's made out of metal. 
it is so pretty. I just love it. I love the rustic look of it. So that is one other item that I bought. And last but not least, I have... I don't know if I can show you this. One second. Okay, so this is the last thing I'm one of the last things I bought from the thrift stores. It is I can't show you sitting down, so I'll have to stand up. It is a plate holder or a cake holder. And what happens is all the arms swing out other ways. So you can have it tiered. Just like this and you can either swing them all out so that they're all different I can't show you that but I think everybody's probably seen one of these before and I'm not going to be leaving it black I'm going to spray paint it and that's all the items I have from the thrift store to show you but I do have items from Michaels one moment Okay, so this is what I got from Michael's. Big giant bunny rabbit. He was 80% off and I believe he cost me $1.79. And then I got these little guys. They were also 80% off. As you can see, they were $4.599 here in Canada. And I can't remember how much I paid for them. So then I got this little guy, little stick bunny. And he was originally a dollar here, and he cost me uh, ten, eight twenty cents, I believe. Then I got these little guys. This little bunny. This little bunny. This little bunny. Now there was other colors. There was pink and there was purple, but I didn't want those colors. And then I bought, these were the last two bunnies like this. So this bunny looked like this. And I'm going to be using, those only cost me 39 cents. And I will be using them in a project. I think I'll put them on a piece of cardboard. Uh, and then frame them with a little banner or something that says Happy Easter. Um, the next things I got were this letter S. A letter L and a letter D those will I can't find one for myself and one for my oldest son yet those were only 50 cents so they were in like the liquidation bin and uh, I'm not sure if I'll end up finding the one that I need for me and my other son so next I found these these are big giant flowers well not big giant these are more like a medium sized flower um, I won't be making these, but I'll be using them as templates in order to make other colors. Which is, I, the first thing I saw when I saw these was like, uh, those are a great template. I won't have to buy any more. I just need to buy one. So that one cost me $5.99, I believe. And then I found this big giant one. So I picked that one up and that one cost me $7.99, I believe. But like I said, these are great and I'm willing to pay that because I have a template and now I only I only have to ever use the template. I don't actually have to make the flower. I can just go buy paper and make my own in every color I want. So that's pretty cool. I bought this material yesterday. Now it was supposed to be with a 50% off coupon, but something else I bought uh, took over instead. It shouldn't have because they were on clearance, but that material I bought is because I already have a piece of that and I want to make pillows and I figure it'd be working better if I had two of the same. So the next thing I bought was this, which is the Heidi Swap Butterfly Marquee. Um, I did buy two. I wanted three, but they didn't have three, so... Once again, I'm stuck with two, and I'm hoping that maybe my Michaels might have one. Um, these were on sale for $8.99. Now, this shouldn't have taken the 50% off, but it did. So, oh well. An extra dollar off. That's not too bad. Um, 
I'm just going to pause to pull some stuff out. Okay, so go, to go with those butterflies, I bought these little light bulb covers in like a tealy blue, I guess. Um, they were $2.99. They were missing one from the pack, so she gave me an extra 10% off of each of those, which is okay. I don't mind. The next thing I bought were these um, dresser poles. I bought three of the blue ones. I thought those were very pretty and I'm going to figure out what to do with those. They're either going to go on an actual dresser or they'll be part of a DIY project. So the other thing I bought are these icing decorations. Um, it's a little bird so I figured that would be working well with my niece's woodland theme party and I bought three of them and they cost me 49 cents each so that was pretty good buy there the next thing I bought were these eggs and they were part of the Easter egg clearance and I just really liked them I thought they were different in they weren't your normal Easter pink purpley pastel -y colors they got this nice taupey color these greens and these funny oranges and pinks and those cost me um I believe $2.49 I'm not sure no I think it was like maybe it was a dollar seventy nine and then the next things I bought were these Olaf's which is a cocoa trimming kit so um yeah my daughter wanted to try these so I figured why not um I know I haven't shown it but I did buy a Keurig from the secondhand store I don't remember if I did it in a video and I'm going to be setting up a hot chocolate coffee station, coffee tea station. Uh, once I do, I'll take give you a tour of it and um, you can see what it looks like. The next thing I bought were these bunny rabbits. Now I found one at one Michaels and I found two at another Michaels. So I have three of those hollow looking bunny rabbits. And I'm thinking that I might just turn them into... A light up bunny like the ones I saw I believe from the frugal nista she had them in her Easter haul from uh, the Clarence 90% off Easter haul from big lots they were light up so I'm thinking hmm I probably could do the same thing and I'll just pretty them up a little bit add some lights and I'll have the same thing and these only cost me a dollar 79 each and I mean, I'll just use lights from the dollar store. And so altogether, this little thing will cost me two fifty to make, which is fantastic. So that is everything that I hauled this time around. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. And until we meet again, let's all get crafty. Bye bye.